The most important stat in basketball is something you might not have heard of. I refer to it as the golden stat. It's the stat that's most important for evaluating a team's performance across the season. Any guess to what it might be? Well, let's think about it. Obviously, the objective of the game is to score more points than your opponent. But let's go deeper than that. At any given moment of the game, what do you want to do? Well, when your team has possession of the ball, you want to score and you want to defend when your opponent has possession. Pay attention to the word possession. If these are the goals to the game, then the golden stat would be points per possession, which is simply the amount of points scored divided by the amount of possessions a team had. We measure how many points a team scores per possession and how many points a team allows their opponent to score per possession. This is known as offensive and defensive efficiency. It's important to remember that another word for points per possession is efficiency. So what exactly is a possession? Basically, anytime a player on your team is dribbling or handling the ball, your team has possession. Here, the Lakers have possession. A possession will continue until the other team has full control over the ball. So the Lakers possession doesn't end until the Mavericks take control. It's crucial to remember that possessions do not end when a team attempts a shot. That's because a team can rebound their own missed shot, thus continuing their possession. Remember, a team's possession continues until their opponent controls the ball. This means that teams cannot have two possessions in a row. At the end of the game, both teams will have the same number of possessions. Quick side note, it is possible to have one or two more possessions than your opponent at the end of the game. I'll explain why this is in the description of this video. But the average NBA game has over 100 possessions. So one team having two more possessions than their opponent really doesn't make much of a difference. So since the amount of possessions that each team has is nearly equal, the team that scores more points per possession almost always wins the game. Now, you might be thinking that this stat is great and all, but why don't we use points per game instead? Well, the reason we use points per possession is because the amount of possessions can vary from game to game. Let's look at an example of this. The Lakers scored 110 points against the Mavericks and the Suns this season. At first glance, you'd say that both offensive performances were equal for the Lakers, but the amount of possessions in these games significantly differed. Because of this, the Lakers had more points per possession against the Mavericks than they did against the Suns. This means that the Lakers offense was more efficient when they played the Mavericks, even though they scored 110 points in both games. Think about it. It'd be pretty darn bad to score only one point after having the ball nine times. On the other hand, scoring one point after one possession would be acceptable. Due to the fact that the amount of possessions in a game can vary, we should use points per possession stats instead of per game stats. Here's an example of why we should do this. In 2022, the Jazz led the NBA in offensive efficiency or points per possession. But the Jazz ranked ninth in the league in total points per game. So why is this? Well, it's because the Jazz typically played with a slow pace, resulting in a low number of possessions. This low number of possessions gave the Jazz less opportunities to score, and this caused them to be ranked ninth in total points per game. Remember, both teams will have nearly the same amount of possessions at the end of every game. Some games will have a low amount of possessions and others high. It's just that the Jazz typically played in games with a low amount of possessions. Let's compare the Jazz and the Magic. It doesn't matter if it's a slow or fast paced game. The Jazz would be expected to score 1.13 points per possession and the Magic would be expected to score 1.01. So yes, a slow paced game will have fewer total points than a fast paced game that has a higher amount of possessions. But the Jazz will win the fast and slow games because they can score more points per possession than the Magic. Now, you might be wondering, if the Jazz scored more points per possession than any other team in the NBA, why didn't they win the championship? Well, it's all because of 
defense or a lack thereof. Just because the offense can score well doesn't mean that the defense can prevent other teams from scoring even more. The Jazz ranked 10th in defensive efficiency last season. That's good, but not good enough to have the best record in the league. Points per possession is mainly used to evaluate teams over the course of the season like this. But we can also use it to evaluate the style of play in a single game. Let's take a look at this matchup between the Celtics and the Magic. The Celtics won the game by scoring 0.97 points per possession. The average points per possession in the NBA is 1.09. We can make the conclusion that both teams' defenses performed well as both offenses were less efficient than the league average. Basically, this was a low scoring defensive battle. Since the league average is 1.09, we can say that scoring more than 1.09 is a good offensive performance, and below that is a bad offensive performance. Sometimes, points per possession is converted into points per 100 possessions. This is usually referred to as efficiency. We simply multiply a team's points per possession by 100, and that gets us a team's efficiency per 100 possessions. 